Yo! Video games. What up dudes and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Last year on Yo Video Games we had a small series of playthroughs that we titled Thanks Gaming where we look back at some of these older classic titles that we're really thankful to have. Now it's been a really crazy busy year for the Yo Video Games crew so sadly we weren't able to all come together and do a series of quick looks on games we're thankful for from the past. This time I decided I'd look forward a little bit and I'd like to share with everyone why I'm thankful for a more recent new game, although one that is firmly rooted in the past. This all of course brings me back to my favorite new developer, Yacht Club Games. Yacht Club Games is an extremely small indie developer that is compromised mostly of X-Way forward staff. Their current head, Sean Velasco, is a man who has proven time and time again that he understands what made classic gaming so memorable and has proven it when the many titles underway forward, such as A Boy in His Blob, Batman Brave and the Bold, and of course Double Dragon Neon. For their first title, they had to rely on funding from a Kickstarter campaign. But rather than just say, hey, we worked on these titles, Sean went the extra mile and went out to various public venues such as PAX East and reached out to other YouTube gaming channels such as Game Grumps and even ourselves and provided a demo for their title Shovel Knight. This was a really cool gesture that I had not previously seen from an indie developer, especially one that was brand new and trying so hard to get everyone to understand why their upcoming project was worth your time and money. And boy was it ever, Shovel Knight came out this year on PC, Wii U and 3DS and it is an absolutely fantastic game. But more than just being a fantastic game, I want to give special praise to the company itself. Again, this title was made entirely on Kickstarter and was made by an extremely small group of dedicated designers and programmers. What's even more amazing about all of this is that even through development, I would still see Yacht Club employees at events such as E3, PAX, and Comic Con, and they were still toiling away and still coming out to these events despite the enormous amount of workload waiting for them every time they got back to the office. And despite all of this, Sean always has a genuine smile and good attitude and outlook about everything. It's an extremely refreshing change of pace from developers who you can tell are just slogging through their work and they need sleep and they don't need to be at a showroom floor for 12 hours a day. But it doesn't seem to phase these guys. No matter what workloads, no matter what delays had to occur, every time I saw Yacht Club Games employees demoing their title, it was always with enthusiasm and excitement. They never seemed to have any cynicism or look down upon anyone who came up and was just trying out their game for the first time. And what a game it is. Now, it's probably not going to win any Game of the Year awards, but I still feel it's probably the best download indie title you could find on any system this year. I know I like to harp on gamers for focusing way too much on story and presentation, but I feel that with Shovel Knight, everyone knows that the gameplay was solid, it was intact, it was well designed, it was well balanced, the variety was good, the power-ups were great, the progression was expertly done, but I want to go a little step further and say these guys got it right with the story. The story in Shovel Knight starts out as basic NES fluff, but by the end it gets so compelling and they do it in really clever subtle ways I think that's what's missing a lot from video game stories is they tell their stories either too bluntly or with too much information that it convolutes everything Shovel Knight masters the art of video game storytelling by merging gameplay aspects along with much more subtlety to tell a clever engaging charming and heartwarming tale and I truly feel this is one of the most well-told stories in the video game medium and what makes it even more amazing is the fact that this story was not something I was expecting at all. It just kind of surprises you by the end of the game that, wow, I am really into where these characters are going, what's going to happen, and, and holy shit, that ending, yo. So while Yacht Club Games is going to spend the next year or so fulfilling their Kickstarter stretch goal promises, I can't wait to see what they come up with next. It may take a little while, but I really truly think it's going to probably be worth it. I do hope to one day see a 3D platformer from these guys that Sean is not really teased, but just sort of like thrown out there as an idea. It seems that's a great genre that no one seems to really be tackling anymore except for maybe a random game here or there from Nintendo. So I would really love to see what Sean and his team at Yacht Club Games could come up with with the 3D platformer from the N64 era. That would be really cool for me. Of course I want to see more Shovel Knight. And more importantly, I want to see other stories, other worlds, and other gameplay features from this developer. They have proven that they are not only dedicated towards churning out a quality product, but they are dedicated to being the best people they can be every time they have to go out and meet and greet with fans and developers and other industry people alike for hours a day that could be spent perfecting their already awesome games. So if you haven't checked out Shovel Knight yet, you really are doing yourself a disservice. You gotta play this game. It's available on Steam, Wii U, or 3DS, and there's gonna be a theme going up soon for the 3DS. I'm totally gonna be downloading it. 
It's really nice to see a true Kickstarter success story and one that delivered on all its promises and more. This year, I'm giving thanks to Yacht Club Games, and Sean Velasco, and all the crazy awesome people in particular that work there and make the magic happen. Can't wait to see what you guys and girls come up with next, and I hope to hear about it sooner rather than later. Hope you enjoyed this small little snippet of Thanks Gaming this year on Yo! Video Games, and I'll catch you later on the channel. Later, dudes!